What's up, everybody? My name is Walter Hinchman. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Swolverine. Today, we're going to be talking about sleep. We're going to talk about how exercise can affect your sleep and if too much exercise can cause insomnia. So based on the available research, evidence suggests that exercise does, in fact, help you fall asleep a lot faster, help you stay asleep longer, and give you better high-quality sleep. However, strenuous exercise, so if you decide to go on a long bike ride, on a long run, or decide to throw in an extra watt into your workout, it will activate your natural stress response. Um, when you work out, adrenaline and cortisol are coursing through your veins, they're released, which can affect sleep latency or the time it takes you to fall asleep and sleep quality. Sleep quality. So Therefore, it's not really a matter of too much exercise. It's really a matter of when you work out, what time you work out, really, and how physically fit you are that can really affect your sleep. So let's talk about that. So number one, can exercise help treat insomnia? Um, researchers do not truly know what the direct mechanisms of how exercise affects sleep uh, are and how it really works. However, they do have some solid theories. So in a systematic review published in the journal Clinics, um, several prospective studies were investigated and the effects on the effects of exercise as an alternative treatment for insomnia. And that review concluded that sleep and our exercise, in fact, does help in treating insomnia and improving sleep quality. So exercise in general has what's called an anxiolytic or anti-anxiety effect, which helps you helps you achieve a state of wakeful relaxation and um, falling asleep faster, right? You need to be in a state of relaxation for you to fall asleep and to get better sleep. Sleep supplements such as ZMT, so such as the one that we sell right here, um, they use a lot of different proven adaptogens, right? Such as GABA, theanine, valerian root. And these are all, these all these ingredients use a similar mechanism, right? They, they're uh, a lot of inhi inhibitory neurotransmitters, so they're helping you reduce your stress, help you fall asleep a lot faster. So um, researchers have found, however, that regardless of the time of day, right, engaging in resistance training does help improve sleep quality. So a lot of the observations and observational studies have shown that working out in the morning and the timing of that is actually going to affect your sleep in different ways. For example, morning exercise was found to significantly improve the time required to fall asleep and evening exercise was found to significantly reduce um, wake time after sleep onset. So depending upon when you work out, right, it can affect you in different ways. So let's talk about if too much exercise can actually cause insomnia, if too much exercise can really um, affect your sleep overall. So the short answer to this question is no. Well, uh, not really, right? Some people, however, do experience exercise-induced insomnia if they train too close to their bedtime while others really have no symptoms at all. So the research is very conflicting, right? But there are probably a lot of you out there who say, hey, I work out later in the day. I experience you know, issues with falling asleep. So this is more geared towards you. So as I mentioned, researchers have found that moderate exercise is best for insomnia. So strenuous exercise beyond your normal exercise capacity does affect the stress response systems, including the release of cortisol, adrenaline and endorphins. The body secretes adrenaline and another inhibitory neurotransmitter, norepinephrine, in alertness and or in response to exercise. So those hormones, basically what they're doing is that they're increasing your heart rate, your glucose metabolism, your mental alertness, and your blood flow. So what that means is that if you work out too close to your bedtime, you might have a hard time achieving that state of relaxation that we talked about and might have a hard time falling asleep because of these different hormones that are released. The amount of hormones in your bloodstream, however, entirely depends on how fit you are and um, the duration of your exercise and the intensity of your exercise. So your level of training really will affect how you respond, especially when you're trying to fall asleep uh, in regards to if exercise does affect your sleep. So if you're, if you're adding an extra high intensity workout and it's above or beyond your physical capability, or let's say you go on a longer bike ride or you run for an extra mile or two, even add in another watt into your workout, then that is what's going to um, release more adrenaline, more norepinephrine than someone who is already physically adapted to those changes. So 
Um, your body's natural stress response to physical stress is also like, if you work out, you are going to release these different endorphins. You are going to release more hormones. Um, so for some people working out later in the day may affect your sleep. You might want to reconsider what time you work out. You might want to work out earlier in the day so that you don't release this amount of hormones, um, so that it's affecting your sleep. Right? So one of the hormones that is released is cortisol. So cortisol is your natural, um, your natural stress hormone that your body induces, right? So cortisol levels rapidly rise in the middle of the night and they peak in the morning when you wake up. And then as the day goes on, it is uh, intermittently released throughout your body and it hits a low when correlates very much when you go to sleep. Cortisol is released in a pulsatile manner, right? Like I said, it's intermittent throughout the 24 hour days. And what it helps do is that it decreases during your slow wave sleep. Your body's, like I said, your natural response is to increase that cortisol when you are working out and when you have severe physical stress on your body. So your cortisol levels are going to increase and it's going to disrupt your natural cycle of cortisol and how it's released in your body. So instead of rising when you wake up and gradually falling when you fall asleep, your cortisol levels are going to remain increased throughout your workout. And that is what's going to attribute to you either staying up, either not being able to fall asleep for an extra hour or two when your workout time or when your training is really close to when you go to bed. So overall, sleep uh, is not really affected by, or insomnia is not really affected by your exercise. In fact, if you do work out um, and train, it's going to help you sleep and achieve better quality sleep. Um, but if you work out, like I said, closer to your bedtime, you may want to reconsider when you do that because it could interrupt your sleep cycles. If you have no other choice and you're like, I have to work out, I get off of work at like six or seven, I got to work at eight, eight, I go to sleep at nine, I would definitely consider grabbing uh, a sleep supplement like ZMT, where it has a lot of proving and clinically dosed sleep ingredients so that you can achieve that wakeful relaxation and you can stay calm, reduce your stress, reduce your anxiety and get better quality sleep. So if you have any questions, want to look up anything in terms of nutrition, supplements, health, wellness, visit the blog at swolverine.com. Make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel. And until next time, guys.